Hi, and welcome to video five on our course on how to double your tips and gratuities. I'm really excited you're here because we're talking tip speeches, how to give a great one, why they're so important. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Kelsey from Be A Better Guide. Let's dive in. Okay, a tip speech is essentially a moment during your tour, usually beginning and end is what I'll recommend, where you clarify how gratuities work for yourself as a guide, most importantly. But you can also talk about how gratuities are working for everyone else. Say you have a lunch or maybe you're working with some other guides. How do gratuities work for them? That is essentially a tip speech. And I'm gonna talk about why it's so important. But firstly, before we get started, I know many guides out there and the system we might be moving to is one where independent guides are booked through a booking site and they don't necessarily want those gratuities to take place. Or they say, include gratuities in your trip price. So I have mixed feeling on this because I think it denies opportunity to a lot of uh, people who come from cultures where uh, that tipping is a way of showing generosity and you could be losing a lot of income because of that. But one solution, and if you are in that system, definitely, definitely mark the price of your tour up with generous gratuities. I'm talking like uh, my income at times was doubled and sometimes even more because of the gratuities I was getting. So wherever your tour is, make sure that you're thinking about getting it to double the cost if it's including your gratuity. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, I can't just charge double for my tour. I mean, all my competitors, nobody's gonna go with me anymore. If you're thinking like that, then you need to get over to beabetterguide.com like after this video. And there we're gonna talk about how you can market and sell your tour. And you're gonna come up with a tour description uh, where people would pay anything because you've got a once in a lifetime experience. You've got a memory of a lifetime. They'd be crazy not to pay you that money to do it. Okay, but I digress. So even if gratuities for yourself are not uh, required, it's important to clarify that in a tip speech, especially if it's on your webpage and that expectation has been set already. The other important reason that you wanna do a tip speech is that if you happen to come from a culture where you're paid a minimum wage for your job and those gratuities are an important part of getting you a sort of above the poverty line or making your job worthwhile, then it's important to clarify that to the guests who are coming on your tour uh, that that's an important part of your wage and kind of part of the expectations. And people are receptive to that, even if they come from a culture where that's not normally how they would do things. So the tip speech, I believe, should happen right at the beginning, sort of your overview when you're covering what's gonna happen during your tour or experience. And then also a reminder right before the end. And both times are very important. What I'll do now is give you some of the exact wording that I've used on my tours. And this has come with a lot of trial and error, a lot of trying different things. I'll give you five different ways that you can say this and then we'll talk about each one and you can maybe find one that you like. So just before I pop the first one up on the screen here, this imagine this happening right after you've just clarified how gratuities have worked for everyone else on your tour. So do they need to tip the bus driver? You know, probably not. Your transportation, however that's working. Do they need a tip at say the coffee shops or at lunch or at dinner, that sort of thing. However that works on your tour, you've clarified that. And then you can say something like this. If at the end of the tour, you feel that I've provided an exceptional tour experience, gratuities for myself are warmly welcomed. They can be given to me personally or left in my tip box at the office. And a typical gratuity ranges from about five to 10% of the trip fee. Or try this one. I'll be available at the end of the tour if you have any questions or if you would like to leave a gratuity. Okay, let's get going. Or perhaps, if you'd like to give a gratuity at the end of the tour, of course, I'm always happy to receive it. If you are leading a longer tour, say three days or four days or longer, you could try something like this. Hi everyone, someone asked me the other day about tipping, and if you'd like to offer a gratuity at the end of the tour, it would be most welcome. It is of course at your discretion, but a typical gratuity is around $20 a day or whatever you're comfortable leaving. And one more. <laughs> If you feel that I've done more than just taking you from A to B and I've provided you with a great experience today, I'd welcome any gratuities you'd feel comfortable leaving. And if you want to interject a little humor, sometimes I would tack on the end of, you know, I did want to mention that I do also accept Rolexes, expensive jewelry, you know, private stock options, things of that nature, you know, in case you're out of spare change. I bet you want to throw in that bit about the Rolexes and jewelry, don't you? Um, 
So go back and have a listen to those tip speeches again and again, or jot them down, and pick whichever one you feel most comfortable with, of course. But the big key is to practice it over and over again. This is something you really want to be able to just like roll off your tongue and be very non-awkward about. It should just be a nonchalant thing for you. And that does take a little bit of practice to get your exact wording. Because if you stuff it up or kind of mess it up halfway through, it can feel a little bit awkward. The three questions that guests are wondering are, should I tip um, at all? Two, how much should I tip? You know, if they did a good job, but you know, I don't want to snub them or not give them enough. So should I, how much, and then how can I do it? So those are the three big things you want to make sure are absolutely clear and you've hit in your tip speech before and after. And though you might feel awkward doing it, I highly recommend including a typical gratuity amount. So whether that's the percentage uh, of the tour price, or I think is even better, uh, a dollar figure or a you know currency figure, whatever your currency might be. Um, because that really takes away the need to do math, for one, if it's a percentage, like, okay, well, what did the tour cost or a family of six and I booked it two months ago? I mean, that's a little bit difficult. But if you just have sort of a, a dollar figure that they can quickly use as reference, that's great. And it also allows you to anchor too. So anchoring is the idea that you can set their expectations a little bit higher and that's going to help increase your tips because that's what we're talking about here too. So this is typically done in a credit card machine. Maybe you're at a place where the server needs to be tipped. This is super typical in North America. It says, oh, would you like to tip uh, 15%, 20%, 25% or a custom amount? And then you have to go in. But what they've already done there is anchored it quite high, right? You're thinking, oh gosh, I mean, 20 is the average there. So I might as well do something, you know, you might pick the middle. And so that anchoring process can also set the expectation and even just the reality that, hey, this is a, a, a average gratuity that I'm receiving right now. And people appreciate that honesty. Having a great tip speech is honestly one of the most important things in this course. And the thing that is really gonna help you get more tips. Because the main reason that people uh, aren't tipping you is because they forget Get, or it's not clear how it's working or that's clear that it's expected. So that's going to be a big help. If you want to be doing these tip speeches at the beginning and then the reminder right before the tour is over is especially important. Now, if you're still on the fence and you're thinking, ah, oh, it's just a bit awkward, think about it this way. And I honestly mean this and take this to heart. There's a lot of anxiety in your guests and your clients about whether they should tip, um, how much they should tip, all those questions we were talking about. And my philosophy is when you're coming on my tour, I wanna answer all the questions you have. I wanna take care of you. I want this whole experience to be stress and anxiety free. So just by clarifying the tipping situation, you're really helping reduce the stress of your guests, right? You're doing this not only for you, but for people. And they, it's just clear. And you saw that this isn't a high pressure situation. And I don't want you to create the situation where you're, you know, everybody needs to tip. As you saw, you're saying it's not mandatory by any stretch, but just reminding people and giving that typical gratuity amount can make a big difference for you and it also reduces stress with your guests. Okay, in our next video, we're going to look at how to address tipping in your written trip literature. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to look at some of the big group travel companies and on their websites and in their uh, catalogs, how they address the tipping of their guides. And this is really polished professional language that you can sort of use or paraphrase in your own thing. But before you go, I want to hear your best tip speech in those comments below. Let me know about your experiences giving tip speeches and whether you've noticed that it does lead to increased tips, your policy. I want to hear it. Thanks.